Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Titus chapter 1, beginning at verse 5 and ending at verse 16. This is the Amplified Version. Qualifications of Elders For this reason I left you behind in Crete, so that you would set right what remains unfinished, and appoint elders in every city, as I directed you, namely a man of unquestionable integrity, the husband of one wife, having children who believe, not accused of being immoral or rebellious. For the overseer, as God's steward, must be blameless, not self-willed, not quick-tempered, not addicted to wine, not violent, not greedy for dishonest gain, but financially ethical. And he must be hospitable to believers, as well as strangers, a lover of what is good, sensible, upright, fair, devout, self-disciplined, above reproach, whether in public or in private. He must hold firmly to the trustworthy word of God as it was taught to him, so that he will be able both to give accurate instruction in sound, reliable, error-free doctrine, and to refute those who contradict it by explaining their error. For there are many rebellious men who are empty talkers, just windbags and deceivers, especially those of the circumcision, those Jews who insist that Gentile believers must be circumcised and keep the law in order to be saved. They must be silenced because they are upsetting whole families by teaching things they should not teach for the purpose of dishonest financial gain. One of them, Epimenides, a Cretan, a prophet of their own, said, Cretans are always liars, evil beasts, lazy gluttons. This description is true. So rebuke them sharply so that they will be sound in the faith and free from doctrinal error, not paying attention to Jewish myths and the commandments and rules of men who turn their backs on the truth. To the pure, all things are pure, but to the corrupt and unbelieving, nothing is pure. Both their mind and their conscience are corrupted. They profess to know God, to recognize and be acquainted with him, but by their actions they deny and disown him. They are detestable and disobedient and worthless for good work of any kind. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.